Hey guys, just making a quick video here. Today's video is something that's been plaguing my car for a while now since I put that larger front reservoir tank in. I've been getting air in the system here and it's just not purging. So today I went out, picked myself up this little vacuum here. This is gonna help me to fill my tank completely full. It's gonna pull vacuum. It's gonna pull all that air out there. And then we're gonna go ahead and suck the pre-made coolant back into the system. So what I had to do first was remove all the liquid in here and in all the lines. So I was able to put this adapter on and use my trusty little blower here, place it on there and blow coolant out here where I made a little discharge. If not, I'd suggest just popping a line underneath your car there just to get all the air out, or at least in my case, that's what I had to do. And, uh, Hopefully this solves my problem. Okay, so right now we got everything set up here. Got this in our tank here. We're gonna draw all the way to 25, just uh, be on the red there. Got my little tank here. That's for any residual fluid that might be in there when we're drawing it, so let's give it a go. So right now we're going to go ahead and hold pressure, make sure she's still holding before we decide to fill it up, but there are no leaks. So now I'm going to go ahead, connect my hose here, place the end in the premix solution. We want to make sure it's fully submerged. You're not going to be putting any air back in the system. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, open up this valve. It's going to suck all of our fluid. You can watch the fluid level here as it goes in. Wow, I have to say that worked out really well here. As you can see, almost emptied the pail that I had. And it filled it right up to the cold fill mark here, right over there. So I just wanted to show you guys one last thing here. Trying to get it in focus is our supercharger bleeder. Now, if this worked out perfectly with the vacuum removing all the air, all that should be left in there when I crack this bleeder, should be coolant coming out. So if you look at the bleeder screw, there's actually two bolts in one. The larger one is a 10 millimeter. We don't have to touch that one, but we'll use a seven millimeter for the smaller one. And just by cracking that slightly, half to a half turn to a quarter turn, we should see coolant coming out of there. It's kind of hard to see there, but yeah, definitely cool. It's coming out. We got no air pockets in there. So this has worked absolutely fantastic. Now that I've got a little bit of time here, just wanted to show you briefly that this is the Playo car coolant vacuum that I used. This is everything that's included in the kit here. Obviously your gauges here, your plunger, and a couple lines here for residual and coolant. Also comes with a very simple step-by-step -step instruction manual there. So if you're interested in getting one of these things, they're very inexpensive. Honestly, it takes the headache out of uh, having those problems like I did. So I hope this helped.